Welcome to section two, making decisions. This section is all about learning how to write code that can think on its own. But what exactly does that mean? How can a program think on its own? Up until now, all the programs that we've written were extremely simple. They did the same code over and over every single time you ran the program. However, with making decisions, we can make our programs run different sets of code depending on different sets of information. For example, let's say we wanted to build an age verification program. The, the program's purpose is to see if a user is over 18 or not. So we can start off by just asking the user by console, what is your age? Once they entered in their age, we could then check and make our program do different pieces of code depending if they are over 18 or if they are less than 18. So we can say, we could say to the program, if the user's answer is greater than 18, do this. Maybe we should console.write line, you are greater than 18, congratulations. Or we could say, if it is not greater than 18, we could do another message and we can say, oh, sorry, you are not 18 yet, please come back later. So as you can see, we can tell our programs to run completely two different sets of code depending on one kind of condition. And that basically allows us to make our programs think on their own. They could do different things depending on different conditions. It's very powerful. And throughout this section, you'll learn different ways and techniques of telling our programs how to think on their own.